Drawing with Children. You see the cover of this book? I'm going to give you a moment to think about the age of the child that you think might have drawn that picture. And now I'm going to ask Jamie, our son there behind the camera, to focus in on the name of the child and the age. Can you believe that? So, there is a product of drawing with children. What I'd like to do, I would like to have our own family's art books, portfolios here and show you, but that would take a long time, to let you see for yourself how much we got out of these books. It has been quite a journey. It does take time. Don't think you can just pick up this book and whiz through it. The parent needs to start by reading the entire first section of the book, which is incredibly helpful to you as a parent to get understanding of how the whole book works and to get some understanding of why this is so successful. You might feel like you're not an artist and I can't teach my children, I'm home educating and I, I can't even draw a stick figure very well. Or maybe you're an artist yourself and you are wondering how to impart your own skills to your, um, to your children because maybe you were taught a certain way and this book now is your guide to teach your children how to draw. It's specifically about drawing. However, it starts with teaching them the five elements of art, of, of line. And then it goes into greater and greater depth until the, in the end, they're not just drawing shapes, they're actually creating art, uh, presenting you with art masterpieces from your little children. I'm sure every piece of art that your child does is a masterpiece that you want to put on the fridge. Um, and this just brings a lot of those blessings, a lot of those examples. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the book and actually show you how it's laid out and why it works. We start with how to use the book, duplication of drawing samples and drawing instruction format. And then you've got the preliminaries, which is before you draw, how you feel about your own drawing ability, changing your attitude and abilities, giving the artist in you permission to unfold, and that happens, let me tell you, <laughs> setting the stage, preparing your workplace, shopping for your supplies, ideas for inspiration, knowing what's possible creating a supportive climate, communication can aid the process, troubleshooting, choosing your starting level, starting level exercises, and general guidelines for different age groups. I would like to thank Mona Brooks for having put this together. She's an art teacher and she runs art classes and she's put this book together so that we now as home educating parents can actually sit at home and teach our children to draw. In fact, one mom shared with me that she was, she's got four children and she was taking her children to art every week because of the fact that she didn't have the confidence and felt that she didn't, wasn't creative. I'd like to say that all of us are creative because God is the creator and he created us. So we need to tap into our creativeness that we all have and this helps us to do that. Anyway, back to the mom. She said that her four children were going to art lessons and then she got this book. And she started doing the lessons herself. She was very nervous to do it. However, she found that she was so excited about what she, as the mom, was pr producing from the lessons from this book. She suddenly could draw a beautiful bird and even a lion and a horse and a person. She was just amazed. So, and furthermore, the added blessing was the book cost less than one month's art lessons for her children. And it doesn't you don't absorb this in a month and be finished with it. it. It stays on your shelf and you use it for a long time. It depends when I say a long time. How long is a long time? Is it a year or two or three? It depends on whether you're doing art every day or once a week or once every second week. So it's going to take as long as it takes. But it is a valuable book. I know that for certain. I know that I have got portfolios of art as a result of um, doing these lessons with our children. Let me also tell you what we did, is I would sit for 10 minutes and do a lesson or 15 or 20 minutes and get whatever uh, materials we needed to do that specific lesson, whether it was color, um, pencil crayons or crayon or cokey, pencil, sharpeners, rubbers, paper and all those things. And then we would sit and do the lesson together and then when they were getting on with it, I would read aloud to them. So there again, it became a wonderful memory, this book, of doing art together and having read aloud time. So there is drawing with children. 
And then there's another one called drawing with older children. Well, drawing with older children is simply for older children. Once they, once you've exhausted the first book, don't think you must start with the drawing with children book. Um, you can't start with it if you've got older children and you must start with this one. No, not so. Start with the other one because you yourself as an adult is going to gain from that other one. Even if you're an artist, I have heard artists themselves tell me, like I shared earlier, about how valuable this book has been to them. So once you've finished that book, you move on to this book. It's just a lot more advanced. I would, I'm tempted to go into the book and show you examples. You could actually cl go close up on this one for me, please, James, and you'll see um, the kind of results that are coming from having done this book. But what I could also encourage you to do is just go to Google and have a look at drawing with children images and see the results of people that have used these books, this one and this one. Uh, there are a lot of examples there um, on Google Images of the results of this. So if you want to go and have a look at that, I think you'll be quite inspired. I know I was. But I'm sure you're going to be even more inspired and excited about what your own children present from this. So have fun and enjoy it.